Mixtures. Changes in the properties of materials when mixed with other materials. Science 4, Module 5, Milk Based. What food did you have on your table today? Did you eat scrambled eggs? Cookies and milk? Noodles? Spaghetti? Or oatmeal? Oh, all of those must be delicious. But do you know that most of these foods are mixtures? But what are mixtures? Mixtures are combinations of two or more substances without chemical reaction. Just like when we combine materials to make vegetable salad, coffee, and pizza. What happens when we mix solid material to another solid? Just like when we mix iodized salt and white sugar. Can you still identify the iodized salt from white sugar after being mixed? The answer is no. We cannot identify white sugar from iodized salt anymore. They looked the same all throughout. When two materials are combined and forms a uniform appearance or that every material cannot be identified or distinguished from each other, this is called a homogeneous mixture. Just like when we combine cornstarch and coffee creamer or vetsin and iodized salt, we can no longer identify the two materials being mixed together because they look the same all throughout. How about combining rice grains and corn grits? Can you still identify the rice grains from the corn grits after being mixed? The answer is yes. The two materials can be identified from each other when mixed. When two materials are combined and can easily be identified or distinguished from one another, this is called a heterogeneous mixture. Just like when we combine sand and pebbles or paper clips and staple wires, the two materials can still be distinguished from each other even after being mixed. So what happens when we mix solid material to another solid? Solid materials, when mixed with other solids, do not change its properties. The size, shape, color of each solid material remains the same after mixing. What happens when we mix solid material to liquid? Just like when we mix coffee powder and hot water. The coffee powder dissolves in water completely. How about mixing juice powder and water? The juice powder completely dissolved in water. One material cannot be distinguished or identified from the other. Thus, it is a homogeneous mixture. How about combining sand and water? The sand did not dissolve in water. It settled at the bottom of the water. How about putting together noodles and hot water? The noodles did not dissolve in water. It stayed within the water. One material can be distinguished or identified from the other. Thus, it is a heterogeneous mixture. What happens when we mix solid material to liquid material? Some solid materials completely dissolved in liquid materials, but others do not. Some solid materials settled at the bottom of the container, while others stayed within the liquid. When mixed with the liquid, some solid materials change their size, shape, and color, but some do not. 
What happens when we mix liquid to another liquid? Just like when we mix vinegar and soy sauce. The vinegar and soy sauce mix completely. How about mixing soda and water? The soda and water mix completely. They look the same throughout. One material cannot be distinguished or identified from the other. Thus, it is a homogeneous mixture. Let's try another. How about when we mix soy sauce and cooking oil? The cooking oil and soy sauce form two layers when mixed. How about water and cooking oil? The water and cooking oil form two layers when mixed. One material can be distinguished or identified from the other, thus it is a heterogeneous mixture. Based on the examples, what happens when we mix liquid material to another liquid? Liquid materials can be mixed with other liquid materials. While some liquid materials completely mix with other liquids, some do not. Two liquids that do not mix form two layers like what you see with oil and water. Have you learned from our discussion? Let's answer this. Write HOMO if the mixture is homogeneous and HETERO if it is heterogeneous. Number 1. Soda It is HOMO Number 2. Milk and cereal It is HETERO Number 3. Rice and beans It is HETERO Number 4. Water and sugar it is homo. Number five, water and oil. It is hetero. Let's try some more. Write yes if the materials mix completely and no if they do not mix completely. Number one, sand and water. The answer is no. Number two, flour and cooking oil no number three alcohol and water yes number four coconut milk and water yes number five powdered juice and water yes you did very well always remember Mixture is a combination of two or more substances, and it has two types, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous is when two materials are combined and forms a uniform appearance or that every material cannot be identified or distinguished from each other. Examples, when we combine solid and solid, just like vaccine and iodized salt. When we mix solid and liquid, like salt and water. When we mix liquid and liquid, like soy sauce and vinegar. Heterogeneous is when two materials are combined and can easily be identified or distinguished from each other. Examples, when we mix solid and solid, like vegetable salad. Solid and liquid, like sand and water liquid and liquid, like oil and water. Thanks for watching and keep on learning!